이안이고요. 오늘 여러분들한테 저희 보여드릴 운동은 굉장히 굉장히 효율적인 무릎에 통증이 있으신 분들, 무릎이 아프신 분들한테 좋은 운동이고요. 그리고 무릎을 강화시키는 것이 굉장히 중요하기 때문에 어떻게 하면 이 관절이죠. 관절에 도움이 되는 무릎 관절. 특히 나이가 먹을수록 요새는 2 0대들도 무릎이 너무 너무 아파요. 그래서 무릎에 도움이 되는 그 동작 세 가지를 보여드리도록 하겠습니다. Okay, so guys, the three exercises we're going to show you for your knees, right? This is going to be good for anyone that already has any knee injury, so good for rehab, but also it's good for preventing knee injuries as well. 아하, 이거는요, 위에 벌써 지금 무릎이 다치시면 재활에도 좋지만요, 여러분들이 무릎을 나중에 다치지 않기 위해서 부상이 많이 오는 중에 하나거든요. 그것을 방지 예방할 수 있는 그런 운동이기도 합니다. Okay, a big thing is, is that at any point if you feel any pain, okay, you want to make sure you lessen the range of motion when you do the exercise. 이 동작을 하실 때 만약에 아픈 만약에 페인이 오시잖아요, 아프시면 거기서 너무 깊게 들어가지 않고 아픔을 느껴지지 않을 때까지만 계속 동작을 하시면 좋을 것 같아요. Okay, so guys, we're gonna show you the exercises that we're gonna show you for your knees. Okay, so let's start. Yep. So the first exercise we're gonna show you are called skiers. Okay. Skiers 하고 아니 스키 동작이죠. Okay, so we're going to have our feet together. You want to keep the bottom of your feet on the ground the whole time and knees together. Okay, so what we're going to do is your knees are going to go to one side of your feet and your hip is going to go to the other side. Alright, so here you're just going to keep your core tight as you come up. That's one. Okay, so we're going to go to the side. Do your best to, if you find yourself needing to the side, really fight to keep your feet on the ground first and then extend both ways. So if you can do two to three sets of about ten each, right? If you did that three times a week, that's going to really help out a lot. 이게 몇개 정도 말씀하실 때이 열 개씩 한두 세트, 삼 세트 정도씩 하시면요, 이것만으로도 굉장히 많은 그런 변화를 얻으실 수가 있습니다. 그게 첫 번째 스키라는 동작이었고요. 스키요. Here's okay. Then the second exercise, okay. Uh, are called inside squats. So you're gonna have your feet. Okay, so feet are gonna be wide about wider than shoulder width. Okay, wider than your hips. On this one, you're gonna go towards the inside part of your feet, right? And you're gonna bring your knees together as you lower yourself to the ground. Yeah, so if you can go all the way to the ground where basically the inside part of your knee and the inside part of your foot is touching the ground, that's amazing. Personally, I can't do it. Okay, so that's the inside squats. And again, two or three sets, uh, ten reps. And guys, remember this is for your knee and your knee ligaments and stuff, so it needs to be done slowly and in control. Okay, guys, and the last one might be a little bit tough, but called twisting squats. We're gonna start on the ground first. 마지막 동작은 약간 어려울 수도 있는데 트위스팅 스쿼트라는 동작입니다. 앉아서 이렇게 앞과 다리에서 앉으셔서 시작을 하실 거고요. Okay, so for this you're gonna push on the outside part of your feet. 네, 지금 앉아 있기 때문에 지금 발이 바깥쪽 있죠? 거기를 미루셔서 이렇게 일어나시는 거예요. 이러고 일어나서. Okay, so what we're gonna do is you're gonna stand up at the top with your feet still in the same position. You're gonna turn to the other side. 네, 처음 하시면 다리가 다시 바뀌겠죠? 이 상태에서 그대로 앞바다에서 다시 앉으시면 돼요. 
Yeah, you're gonna sit back down nice and controlled. 그래서 앉으시고 다시 똑같이 후 일어나시고 다음 돌아서 다음 약간 댄스 동작 있죠? 다음 또 다시 앉아주시면 되겠습니다. Okay, so the, the idea is you want to not use your hands as much as you can. So when you come up, bring your body slightly forward so it's above your feet as you come up. If it's back here, behind your feet, you're not going to be able to do it. Okay, so again, this one's similar like the other ones. We do two to three sets of about ten repetitions. Bye guys.